Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. Today, we've got 10 whole wings, and I'm gonna show you how to smoke them on my Camp Chef pellet grill. Stick around, see how we do it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you can keep up with the latest content. Be sure to like the video, write me a comment. Let me know what you think of these chicken wings or of my Camp Chef Pursuit 20. Now let's get these wings prepared. I've already marinated these chicken wings for one hour in some white balsamic vinaigrette and they smell and look great. Let's go ahead and get some seasoning on them. Check them out. So for today's wings, I'm gonna do five of them with the Spiceology Jamaican Jerk. And the other five with the Spiceology Maui Wowie. I'm gonna keep one hand nice and clean. I do have a glove on it just in case, but we're gonna start with this Maui Waui on these top and I'm gonna give a nice, generous coat of that seasoning here. I strained these wings in the kitchen for a little bit before I put them on the cutting board just to get some of the excess dressing off. I love to marinate my chicken wings ahead of time. I usually use some type of vinegar-based dressing, a, a nice Italian, a zesty Italian, uh, but I had this white balsamic. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's pretty legit. So before we flip these over, I'm gonna go over here and put some of that Jamaican jerk out on these wings here. go ahead and flip these over. One bad thing about these Spiceology rubs is they don't have a shaker on them. So I'm gonna have to remove this glove and glove back up. That way I'm not sticking this raw chicken finger in, uh, in my jars of spice here. It's no problem though, I got a bunch of gloves. We've got those wings generously seasoned. Let's go over to the Camp Chef and get that thing fired up. All right. With any of the newer Camp Chef grills, we've got the same startup procedure. I'm gonna show you how we do it. I'm gonna start by turning the grill on. I am going to run this at the high smoke setting, which will be about 220 degrees. See, we got the startup timer going. We wanna come over here and open the lid to get that extra airflow. Now, with this pursuit, when we travel with the grill, in order to keep this grate down, you wanna stuff the grease bucket down underneath the grate. So that's what I did there. I'm not gonna need either one of these, so I'm just gonna set them both up top here but I will come over here with the grease bucket and it hangs right down here on the lower back left. We'll let the grill run through the startup procedure. At the end of that, we will get the wings onto the Camp Chef. All right, let's get these wings onto this Camp Chef Pursuit. just got the wings in the Camp Chef at that high smoke setting. Now, what does that mean? We are gonna produce the most amount of smoke that we can and maintain a temperature around 220 degrees. Now, if you're like me and you like your wings with a little crisp instead of that rubbery, chewy skin, we're only gonna run these at high smoke for about a half hour. At that point, we're gonna crank the temperature up on the grill and we're gonna get a nice, 
crispy finish. We'll see you then. Now you're probably wondering why I'm smoking wings on my Pursuit 20. Well, this is a brand new grill. This is the first cook and I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling with this grill. I need to see what it's capable of doing. It's been a half hour at that high smoke setting. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these wings and I'm gonna crank the temperature up to 400 degrees. We're gonna crisp up them wings. You see they're starting to look good. All right, we'll close this thing up. Come over to the controller here. And I'm gonna set the temp. We're going to go to 400 degrees. When it comes to chicken, it's safe to eat at 165 degrees. I've got my Thermapen MK4, and I am going to use this to spot check this chicken until we know it's safe to eat. If you're interested in the Thermapen or any of the Thermaworks products, check the link down in the description. Just out here spot checking a little bit with my Thermapen. We're getting really close. You can see these wings look great. We've got a couple of them here getting real close to that 165. We'll be pulling them off here in just a few moments. All right, these wings are ready to be pulled off the grill. Damn, do they look good. I'm just gonna start stacking these wings. Got a nice little char on them. They are the right temperature, ready to rock and roll. We got that Maui Wowie, we got that Jamaican jerk back there. Look at those wings. We're gonna let these cool down while they're cooling down before that taste test. Let's go over here and shut the camp chef off. We're gonna go ahead and close that lid. We're gonna come over here, and we're gonna go to the menu, and we're gonna hit the shutdown. There you go. I've gotten a lot of questions about the grease management on these Camp Chef grills. Come check this bucket out. This is one cook with 10 whole wings, and you can see that grease is just dripping right down in there perfectly. These wings are done, and they look phenomenal. This is the Spiceology Jamaican Jerk. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. I'm gonna just break that wing right there. I'm a flats guy, so let's get in there on that flat meat. Mmm, that's good. That's a real good seasoning. Very vibrant. These wings are tender and juicy. The skin's just right. Man, that camp chef did a great job. Let's move on to one of these Maui Wowies. Look at that thing. Once again, I'm gonna break that wing. I'm gonna get to that flat meat. I'm gonna give that Maui Wowie a try. You see me struggling here, it's cause it's a little bit hot still. Wow, that is really tasty. I'm a big fan of teriyaki wings. Yeah, I know, I'm not into hot wings. This has got a little zing, a little sweet. That's really good. I'm out here making a mess of myself, so we might as well call it a night and eat dinner. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for tuning in to Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with the latest content.